Hey, welcome back to The Russia Show. Thanks for joining me. As always, hit that like, subscribe button down below, and don't forget to share. And let's get right to the news of the day. First off, apparently Chris Jericho says that he would he would like to return at some point, possibly, maybe. He went on to elaborate in a podcast he did the other day, stating that it wouldn't be an interesting opponent, but it would be an interesting story that would drive him to come back to the WWE. And, of course, he has said in the past that it wouldn't really matter to him if he wrestled again or not. You know, it's just something that if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But he said if an interesting story was to arise uh, that he was offered with, he would love to join, you know, join the WWE again and get back in the ring. Of course, it's kind of what, you know, it was an interesting story and working with Kevin Owens that kind of brought him back the last time. I'm kind of hoping he returns again at some point to continue that feud with Kevin Owens. I mean, looks like Kevin Owens doesn't really have a whole lot he's been doing as of late, really, since Chris Jericho left. Not to mention the WWE fans and the WWE Universe in general would love to see Chris Jericho back in the ring, especially if he you know, comes back as playing a face character of some sort for a little bit anyway. But anyhow, let's get to the main story of this this particular episode of the of the Russia show and that is that co-founder of GFW Global Force Wrestling Jeff Jarrett has been forced to take a leave of absence by the head of Anthem Entertainment now the head of Anthem Entertainment says that Jeff Jarrett is the culprit here he's all to blame it's all his fault all based on nothing to do with creative side of things with GFW but the fact that apparently Jeff Jarrett has a behavioral issue, he's a, he's a, suppose he has erratic behavior according to the head of Anthem Entertainment. And it's been building for months, he says. And it came apparently as a shock to Jeff Jarrett. Apparently he had already made plans with the employees of GFW to hold a big fancy football draft kind of party last night. And apparently it just came out of nowhere, kind of like a Randy Orton RKO. And he's like, yeah, you're not going to be here for a while. Now, supporters and people that know Jeff Jarrett are close to the situation apparently have said that he is not the only one to blame in the situation. That, of course, there are other people to blame, including the head of GFW Wrestling or Anthem Entertainment, who now, you know, own GFW. It sounds like to me... The people at Anthem, now, you know, they've got the merger done and TNA, you know, assumed or was consumed basically by GFW and that Anthem owns owns it now, that they don't feel like they apparently need Jeff Jarrett from the sounds of it because all of a sudden out of nowhere with, you know, with, you know, with no knowledge uh, for him or anybody close to the situation, just out of nowhere, all of a sudden he has erratic behavior issues and he's out of the company for now, taking a personal leave of absence. So if you ask me, this is Anthem Entertainment doing more of their horrible business practices like they did with the Hardys over the broken gimmick, and they're trying to railroad somebody who is, one, beloved by many fans, and two, is the founder of the company that he is running. You know, that, that Anthem Entertainment is running. You know, they had to merge with somebody else so people would forget the horrible name of TNA and how bad Dixie Carter had run the company. And now you're going to sit there and kick him out? That's a bunch of BS if you ask me, and it's a really crap business move. Not only are you going to upset the fans, which TNA had done. Remember, TNA had fired a lot of people and it got rid of a lot of people and quit paying a lot of people that the fans really loved and respected. And now you're going to try and do the same thing with Jeff Jarrett now that you're GFW being run by Anthem Entertainment. Anthem Entertainment, I suggest you, you you change course and correct what you're doing, or else you're going to run this company into the ground like Dixie Carter did Impact and TNA Wrestling. That said, hopefully they'll get this straightened out quicker than, you know, you know, more sooner than later. You know, Jeff Jarrett, you know, Sir, I hope you are able to get back to your business as soon as you can. As well as I, I hope you, you know, now that you're going to have some time time off, I hope you enjoy it. But Anthem Entertainment, you really need to change course. Thank you.